Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So um, yeah, Ethereum's price action is again sideways oriented. Typically the case after such a strong move as we had it into Friday. That's just the crypto mode at the moment. We see a lot of aggressive price action, but that lasts only a couple of days. And then we see these week long, several week long sideways corrections. It's a very binary market, very aggressive on the one side and then on the other side, very boring corrective price action that allows us to distinguish quite quickly between them. However, it is very difficult to get an early signal when something is turning around because it happens typically so quickly. Now, this is just what we need to get used to in crypto. That's just how the market works um, with respect you know, it is one of the most challenging markets that we talk about, you know, how rapid movements are, but how boring they are on the other hand. Um, also, it is a rocky road. We, we talked about that many times that it won't be an easy path to the upside. It will be a rocky road. Yeah. Um, mentioned that many times we have to expect headwinds and it won't be as easy anymore as it was in previous bull runs. We've talked about that many times as well also in the bitcoin videos now at the moment it seems like we had a b wave top here in july we're coming down in a c wave it would be a five wave move and um, one more wave down is missing so the wave structure suggests another low uh, it could have bottomed at any time now because sometimes cryptos just bottom after three waves they form a lasting low after three waves it would then be a so-called WXY structure, but we haven't got strong evidence that it has formed the lasting low. Now, if I had to, you know, choose between Bitcoin and Ethereum, which of the two has formed the low, I would probably say Ethereum, but in reality, they often move together, not always. Um, but yeah, we have corrective price action below resistance. That is typically an indication of further downside movement. If we get one more low, I'm looking at 1535 or 1457. Below 1457, the 1200 mark gets into focus, okay? Below that level, we have to look at below $1,000. So this is, these are sort of the pivot points. From here, we drop into this one. From here, we drop to around about yeah, 650 to $800, which would then be the projected bear market low. But we're not there yet. We still have two clusters of support. Um, ideally, we don't even go below 1535, but I would estimate if we make one more low, it would be between 1535 and 1457. Let's see. Um, looking at the microstructure, again, we're still below resistance. It would take a break above 1720 to indicate that a low has been made. Continuation to the downside would be confirmed below 1605. Um, I had still from the previous video here an idea how the micro count could look like. Again, that is very speculative. Could say the wave three bottomed here on Friday, yeah? then an A wave to the upside. B wave might still be in the making and the C wave higher later. But that's just how it could play out. Um, the B wave might again be an A, B, C structure. That's one possibility. It could also be different ways of how this could evolve. Yeah? I mean, this is one that absolutely makes sense where the B wave is a triangle would break down and then rally once more in the correction in a wave four, as long as it stays below 1723, it basically can do what it wants. I mean, we are in a correction, typically in corrections, the market hasn't really made up its mind yet. It's just moving um, basically sideways, you know, very choppy price action. Now, um, other interpretations yeah, would include that maybe um, the triangle works the other way around. Maybe this is a B wave triangle. Uh, which might be nearly finished. So don't get too much focused on the microstructure within the correction. It's not very helpful. It doesn't give you an additional edge. However, you can see that price is squeezed between support and resistance. Resistance is at 1723, support at 1605. We need a breakout to indicate the next path. However, I would um, prefer another wave down or not necessarily prefer, but it seems likely, it seems to be the e the easier path for Ethereum to make another low. Also because um, Bitcoin is also expected to make another low and the structures look quite similar, both below resistance. Um, it respects very nicely the 38.2 FIP level, 
retracement, which is an ideal target for a fourth wave. There's not much more to add, so I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.